Jonas? Sure. So I played for, for a long time. Who better uh, hockey player? You or Jonas Flicks? I would love to. <laughs> I would love to play him, but I'll say myself on that one. It's the pro golfer hockey battle for Sweden, fighting out of the blue corner. Three-time PGA Tour winner, Jonas Blixt. And out of the yellow corner, Corn Ferry Tour rookie, Vincent Norman. This is your first year on the Corn Ferry Tour. Yeah. You, uh, you're still living in Tallahassee. Yeah. First year on the tour, you've played six events, I believe, eight events, yeah, something probably, like that. Probably closer to eight, yeah. But I mean, look at the schedule for this year. You start out in Great Exuma on the Greg Norman design, yeah. the uh, Emerald uh, Bay golf course uh, in connection with San Jose. Incredible golf course. Love that place. Then you go north up to Abaco, another incredible place. Yeah. You leave there, you go to Panama. You go from Panama to another golf course uh, heaven, it's Columbia. Yeah. I mean, this is like a, a golf course uh, sabbatical, a golfer's dream. I mean, what a start. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, it's tough to travel, I'd say that. Sure. Um, but I mean, I played in Europe all that summer, so I'm kind of familiar with it, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, but it's just. Who doesn't want to go to Bahamas? Yeah. Like it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I had the pleasure of playing um, the uh, Emerald uh, the, with, with the Shark. Well, had an amazing time today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Well, you lost a lot of fucking balls. <laughs> I love the golf course. It's obviously the back nine to get into that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't get any more beautiful than that, right? No, that, those, those finishing holes are amazing. I, I, yeah, yeah. If that golf course gave you some trouble. You, you played much better the next week in Africa. Yeah, because I was, I was actually home for the whole of Christmas uh, in Sweden, so I didn't really. I didn't really play much golf. I mean, I, I, I practiced, but it's like indoors. And okay, right. I kind of came to Tallahassee and just had a few days to prepare. So I was like, oh, I wasn't really used to seeing shots and seeing golf balls and stuff. Sure. Uh, so I kind of took some good things out of that and played good things with and, and, and Mr. Norman forces you to be pretty good off the tee, doesn't he? Oh. And if you can't hit your driver, you're probably going to have some uh, hard time playing that Yeah. And then you go down to Central America. Have you played golf in Panama or before? Never been there Okay, yeah. first time there. Yeah. And I assume you were impressed in particular with Colombia. Amazing. Yeah, Colombia was super cool. From Bogota to Cartagena, Colombia, a world's best golf destination's editor's choice. Pretty tough with ele elevation. It's, it's, it's hard. Like, Panama and Colombia is pretty hot, too. Yeah. As a Swede, you're not really. Yeah. <laughs> Not really used to that, but I mean, unbelievable places, I guess. So if we uh, use uh, Scotty Scheffler math, uh, math, you know, you'd be ready to uh, win the Masters in just a couple of years. I mean, he was just out here not long ago. I mean, that's how fast it can happen. Yeah. And we talked a little bit earlier. You've been to Augusta. Um, you haven't played the golf course. I mean, how, how impressed were you with what you saw there from, from Scotty? You're just coming off the Corn Ferry Tour, and now he's a uh, Masters champion. It's unbelievable. Yes. I mean, it's so cool. But I think it's he's an interesting dude. I think like super. If you look at his, I looked at a lot of his press conferences and stuff. Like yeah. so down to earth. And his, I think his approach to golf is just something I'm taking with me from, yeah. from just hearing him talk. Like it's yeah, I find it so fascinating. Sure. And I can see that out there. I mean, your demeanor on the golf course is good. You seem to be having a good time. You see a lot of golf courses out there. A lot of players, they grind. Yeah. They, they really look miserable. But you seem to be having a good time. I saw a golf cart backfire place and you just laughed about it. A lot of a lot of players would not think that's funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, you seem to have, it's a learning experience for me too. I mean, it's such a long season. And if, if your mood is not top, like, it's just golf. I mean, look at it, Scott. It's just... Yeah. Just call. That's all it is. Uh, same with like John Pack, that was Seminole. Sure. His, I think his approach to the game too is, is the same. We, we room a lot and stuff and we have a good time. So I think it's, you gotta find out. Yeah, otherwise you can't play 26, 30 weeks a year. Sure. But, now, now, John got a golden ticket invitation to the Corn Ferry Tour. I mean, he won everything. Yeah. You had to go through Q, to Q School mm -hmm. to get on here. I mean, nobody wants to go to Q School, but the fact that you were able to get through Q School, there's nothing you can't do in the game yeah. of golf. Yeah, no, it's Q School is a, 
it's a tough way. Like yeah. you're, you're playing for your job, basically. Sure. Uh, especially as a first, coming out of college, first year. Yeah. It's just being able to play here and learn for a year. You know, if you say you would not make it up there, you, you want to make it to the future. But like, stuff I'm learning in this first eight weeks is just, yeah. I mean, it's so big. What's his name? I can't tell you. We're gonna have this I cannot tell you. <laughs> I feel so bad. Blooper reel. <laughs> We're not gonna tell you.